Yo, what is up squad? Pino E here, and for today's video, we're going to take a look at the Air Jordan drops for April. If you want me to do a similar video every month for Nike and Adidas, then leave a comment below and let me know. But first, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, now let's go. Things kick off right away for Jordan Brand on April 1st, and first up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Blue Suede. This pair, just like the name suggests, features a full blue suede upper with a tonal mid and outsole, and features a Jumpman on the tongue tag and the heel. Stay tuned throughout the week for more info on where you could pick these up. Next up, and releasing on April 1st, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Premium Ice Blue. Dressed in an ice blue Vaquetta tan and white color scheme, this low top Air Jordan 1 features a premium ice blue upper with Vaquetta tan on the tongues and heel tab. Finishing off the look are gold lace tips and an all white rubber mid and outsole. Retail price for these is set at $140. We're still on April 1st, and the next pair we have up on screen are the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Premium Black. This pair drops alongside the Blue Ice pair, and it's built using a premium black leather upper featuring Vaquetta Tan accenting on the tongue and heel tab. Gold lace tips and a clean white mid complete the look. Retail for these is also set at $140, and also heads up, a third pair will release as part of this pack, coming in a white leather upper with the same accenting. Unfortunately, no picks are currently available, so stay tuned. We're still not done with April 1st, The next up we have the Air Jordan 31 Royal. Almost all of the marquee Air Jordan 1 High OGs have been accompanied by a matching 31, so as expected, the Air Jordan 31 is receiving the Royal treatment with a black and royal flyweave upper, transitioning into a royal blue leather heel, sitting on a white mid and a royal colored outsole. Retail price for this pair is set at $185. And last up for April 1st, we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Royal. This is definitely the highlight of April, and like I showed you in the video I uploaded last night, they will be widely available. Call your local spots to find out the release procedures. I don't know how every store in every city will be handling it. I personally cannot wait for this pair to drop. We are less than a week away. Pairs will be available in grade school and men's sizing on April 1st, with men's retailing for $160 and grade school for $120. Moving on to April 8th, we have the Air Jordan 13 Low Brave Blue. This pair was originally released back in 1998 going by the name Midnight Navy and they haven't been released since. This pair comes dressed in a brave blue metallic silver and black colorway featuring a black nubuck and leather constructed upper with a brave blue mesh and 3M reflective underlay. A university blue Jumpman sits on the tongue with a metallic silver Jumpman on the heel and it all sits on a white mid. April 8th is the release and $175 is the price. Flip the calendar another week forward and for April 15th we have the Air Jordan 11 Low coming in a white and university blue colorway. Paying homage to Michael Jordan's alma mater, this Air Jordan 11 Low comes dressed in a university blue and white color scheme. The defining university blue color is featured prominently on the patent leather upper while a white midsole and translucent outsole ground the clean design. This pair will be available in grade school sizing for $135 and in men's for $175 on April 15th. Over to April 22nd, and we strangely don't have a men's size release scheduled for this week. We all know Jordan Brand doesn't really want to give our wallets a break, so stay tuned because I'm sure they have something planned. They do, however, have a release scheduled as a grade school exclusive, and it's the Air Jordan 11 Low Blue Moon. Throwing away the traditional mesh and patent leather combination of Air Jordan 11s, the new Blue Moon features a suede upper in a Blue Moon color and a cracked patent leather mudguard. The sneaker is completed with a white midsole and icy translucent outsole. If you're part of Team Small Feet and you like these, then April 22nd is the date and $130 is the price. Over to April 29th, and first up, the Air Jordan 7 GS Hyper Pink, which comes dressed in a mixture of black tumbled and smooth leather with hyper pink accenting on the mid heel and tongue. Look for this pair to release for $140. Also dropping on the 29th, we have the Air Jordan Retro 7 Pantone. Since his game-winning shot that brought championship glory to the University of North Carolina, Michael Jordan has been at the forefront of basketball greatness. Once again, paying homage to Jordan's alma mater, this Air Jordan 7, which was originally showcased during the 2010 World Basketball Festival, hits retail for the very first time on April 29th for $190. 
And last up, we have two pairs of the Air Jordan 1 High Decon, which are expected to drop sometime in April, although a release date has not yet been confirmed. The Air Jordan 1 Retro High Decon Silhouette draws from the Air Jordan 1's original detailing, but offers it up in an ultra clean canvas upper built for elevated comfort and style. Coming in your choice of either University Blue or Pink, the pairs feature simple one piece uppers that showcase the iconic paneling through subtle stitching. Even the swoosh branding is relegated to the fine stitch pattern while Vaketa Tan Leather marks the embossed Nike Air branding. Stay tuned for a confirmed release date, but the price for these is $123 each. And that does it for today's video. Stay tuned for more. I believe the Air Jordan 1 Red Suede will also drop this month, and there's got to be something else on the 22nd. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.